Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday and I'm obviously in much better spirits <laughs> than the last vlog. Um, this will be a daily vlog. There's a few things that I want to share with you today. Hope everyone is doing well, <sighs> getting by, giving yourself grace, bringing some peace into your life, doing whatever you need to do. Um, but today I am about to film actually. Um, I'm going to film an unboxing <laughs> of a new handbag. I treated myself um, to something that was on my wish list for kind of hitting a milestone on Instagram. I finally hit 100,000 followers. Thank you if you're one of them. Um, so I'm doing a little handbag unboxing, which will be out. You would have already seen it by now. So do you love it? Let me know. Um, and then I want to, oh, I'm going to share the stuff that I bought from Target. They had some um, collaborations that launched like last week. Um, and those orders should be here today. So I want to share them. I got two things from the brand Kushni, which is a black owned brand. Don't worry, there's more of that coming. Um, I plan on, uh, that's kind of my um, priority and like how I'm going to kind of, um, I don't know, be better, support more. Um, but I'm just kind of finding which brands are like the right fit for my style. But um, Kushni is a black owned brand and they had a collaboration with Target. So I bought a few pieces from there. And of course I wanted to try the Love Shack Fancy um, and kind of like compare those. So we will do that um, after I film. We'll try on that stuff. I also got a Sephora haul in or box in and I want to share that stuff with you. Just what I got in case any of you are interested in like new stuff. It's literally my first ever order from Sephora online. I've never ordered like I'm more of an impulse person. I just like to go in the store. But since I can't do that and I needed a little pick me up last week, um, I figured I would treat myself. It's all skincare. So we're just going to be trying some skincare. I think that's it for now. But I mean, I guess that's pretty like full day. <laughs> so without any more rambling, I already did my makeup. Um, you're just the same old, same old, same old. And I can finally fit comfortably into my um, yellow stove top. You guys know I have this one in white. Um, and I bought the yellow one last summer when I was a little too skinnier, but I can finally fit into it. So. That should be like a cute little fun video. And now I just got um, a parcel or email that I have a parcel downstairs. So I'm going to go grab that. I think it's the um, Target dresses. Um, I got two yesterday, but two, they were coming separately. So I'm going to go grab those and then we'll do like a little try on and then we'll unbox our Sephora stuff. And yeah. Okay. So I just got the package. It actually wasn't um, the dresses from Target. So Hopefully they'll get delivered by the end of the day and I can show them to you. If not, I'll just show you the two that I have. But <laughs> I just changed into the thing that did get delivered. This was a gift Josh bought me. I have wanted it for so long. Um, they're the, I don't know if you've heard the brand called Sleeper. They're like the fancy furry PJs that they have. But you can also wear these out and I plan to. But they're stunning and now I know I need them in every color but they just came so I put them on immediately so let me let me sit you down and show you where can I sit you oh it's so dark over here hold on let's see if I can see you here okay can you see me yeah okay so I got the black color um and they have like the <laughs> look at that fur it's so uh like I, it's luxury, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be worth the money. You know, like when you see something and you're like, is it really gonna look that good in person? This looks that good in person. So it's the top and the bottom, and I plan on probably like tucking a side in, or you could even like tie it up. You can't even see the bottom. Oh, oh, M J. 
Can you see? It's amazing. I wish it had pockets. It doesn't. But... I love it. And they come in, they come in, can you see me? Oh my God, I'm so, so bright. Can you see me? Yeah. They come in all different like prints. They have polka dot, which I think I want next. And I also, I actually think that's on sale. Um, they have all different types of colors, but you know, I love black. So I figured that would be my first foray into this brand. They also have really cute dresses that I want. Everything just looks so comfortable. You know, that is my thing. I want to be comfortable, but I'm keeping this on for the rest of the day. I think, is this appropriate to wear to my town hall later? I mean, it's like dress pants, right? But like, with fur. I don't know. I th I'm, I'm keeping it on for now. Make sure I'm in focus, but I love it. Um, let's get into the Sephora stuff. Um, so I'm excited about that. Let's, we'll sit down. Let's sit down. Sephora. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to take a quick call. Um, well, I was just FaceTiming my friend, but <laughs> um, now we're gonna go through this four stuff. So the first thing I have is the Sunday Riley uh, CEO Glow. It's vitamin C turmeric face oil and it's supposed to help visibly brighten, hydrate, balance, and glow. I love the Sunday Riley Luna Night Oil. I'm pretty sure I've listed that in like a favorites um, and I use it almost every night. It has retinol in it. It's, it's amazing. It feels good. It's hydrating, all that. So I wanted to try this. Um, I've been getting a few pimples that are leaving dark marks. So I want to see if this helps. Mostly everything in here is brightening. <laughs> Um, I really want to work on just like evening my skin tone. I don't have a lot of um, like acne or anything like that, but I do have discoloration. So I want to work on that a little more. I also got the Olay Hendrickson Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. I just needed another cleanser. I like to have options depending on what my skin needs and what it feels like. I have some that um, are a little more like deep cleaning but i don't like to use those every day because they can be a little harsh so this one is supposed to give a really good clean especially when you wear makeup but it's still like really gentle um i think the style and beauty doctor recommended this um so i picked that up and i picked up two things from bite beauty you know that is my favorite lip balm period um so i just picked up a new lip balm or lip mask i use the agave intensive lip mask but i just use it like lip balm um, and I got it in the shade Buzzed. It's like a little pinky shade, but it's still basically, it's like invisible. I just needed a new one. And then I also wanted to try their lip scrub. Um, I have extremely dry skin, I have eczema, and um, sometimes, you know, my lips just need to scrub. So I wanted to try theirs. So of course, all this stuff, I will like keep you updated, but I figured, you know, nothing wrong with sharing. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna try to do this like at least once a week, but I can tell, like I can feel when my need, my lips need like to be exfoliated, and sometimes I just try to do it my like myself with like a paper towel and like some lip balm. But I want to see if that is kind of better. Um, this is actually for Josh. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Face Oil Free Gel Cream. So it's just like a daily moisturizer. He has um, he has like sensitive skin. So he likes anything that's oil free and like really lightweight. This will do nothing for me, my skin is too dry. <laughs> but that is his. Oh, I got a washer tool. I'm sure you've seen these and you probably think I'm crazy for getting one, but I used to have um, like the little DJ roller and I broke mine, but I used to use that at night and I really, I could see a difference. I could, like, I could visibly see a difference after I use it. Um, and I wanted to be more consistent with it, but then it, I dropped it and it broke. But, and then I wanted to try this. So I figured instead of replacing that, I'll just try this. So it's kind of the same thing with like the material it's made of. Um, but instead, like you just go like this. I'm not gonna do it because I have makeup on. But I liked it because you can kind of like target um, and like pinpoint like the actual parts of your face more. Sorry, that's my almost trying to break in, but just someone in the hallway. Um, 
but you just go like this and like you put oil on your face and you just kind of push up and it kind of like helps with like lymphatic drainage like um kind of like blood flow circulation all that stuff and then you can do it up here too you know we're trying to get those cheekbones to find so <laughs> we're gonna try that and what else oh this was like a gift with purchase it's just a shiseido lip balm that was just free uh, and then this was the reason I made the order actually this is more Ole Henriksen you guys know that is my favorite eye cream uh, and I actually don't need a new one but I was out of I got the little three pack last time and it had the eye cream the face cream and the serum and both of those were almost out so I wanted to replace those and I wanted to try the dark spot toner because who tried it I think Octavia, I'm sure you know her on YouTube. She she said she liked it, so I figured I'd just get the three pack since I needed that stuff anyway. So this is the toner, but it's supposed to be specifically for dark spots. So figured we would try that while we're here. And then this is the gel cream. Again, it's just like a, a moisturizer, but it's for brightening. And then they have a serum that's for brightening as well. And I really, like them banana bright vitamin c serum and i use these in conjunction with the eye cream which is amazing and works wonders and i think that's oh oh one other thing it was hiding i got the mario badescu drying lotion this is one of the best sellers at um sephora and again i said i was like starting to get pimples and i think it's because i've been working out more and just sweating more and like even though i wash my face i try to wash my face right after i work out so it doesn't like clog my pores but I feel like I've been breaking out more. So um, this is just kind of like a spot treatment and you just leave it on and it kind of like dries up your pimples. So figured I would try because I don't want to like do any like acne. I, like I don't think it's that severe, but I wanted something to kind of spot treat. So I'll let you know if it works. Actually, Josh tried it last night. So when he gets home, I'll ask him <laughs> if it worked. Or I just look at his face. I didn't see him this morning when he left. And that's everything. So, I need to put all this stuff up. Hi queens. Um, it is day two of the vlog. Um, it's Friday. I think I left you on Wednesday and the day just got away from me. Um, I s had to respond to like a few like urgent emails and then by the time I realized that it was time for the um, town hall thing I was a part of and I could literally barely like film it because I was talking most of the time um so yeah and then yesterday I was gonna finish yesterday but then Aunt Flo came to town and I was just in bed all day um with cramps so here we are Friday and um I feel much better so I figured we would finish the vlog and try on the Target stuff because now that it's all here um I can try it on and show you I already have tried it on and I know I'm keeping two things and I'm taking two things back, but I figure you probably want to see it anyway because there's still um, stuff left in stores and they'll probably continue to be because if you don't know, I used to be a store manager at a Target for eight years. Um, so people will be returning things for the next few weeks. So um, if you're interested in something, you can probably just keep checking back and it'll be available. So enough of all of that. I just filmed, finished filming a video, casual outfits. Oh, it's going to be so good. That'll be up after this so coming soon um but let me I have the dresses behind me so let me flip you around in the mirror and show you the four dresses that i got okay so if you didn't know there were three brands that launched last week at target one was Kushni, um and that is a black owned brand um and i would say all of them are like contemporary brands um like they range from like four hundred dollars to like a thousand dollars for most of their items on the like their regular items um so it was cushiony and then it was low shack fancy which i've talked about before and i can't remember the other one i'll pop it up on the screen but i was only interested in those two um so the first dress i have on i'm keeping it's a stunner hold on okay so it's this oh my god stunner of a dress so this is a cushiony dress and when I saw it, I just knew, I just knew I had to have it. Um, it is this like lime green color. 
it's not even showing how stunning it is. It has like this ruching here. Um, it has a little boning here, but it has like, yeah, there you can see it. Um, like this folded, like this kind of just stays here. Um, so yeah. Um, and then it has a little side slit. Um, now of course you're getting what you pay for. Um, I want to say this dress was $50. So it feels like $50, but it definitely like the design. Um, and even the cut, um, definitely looks more high end than it is, but I'm, I feel like, like certain little things, um, if it was like from the brand would have been a little better. That's just, um, as an FYI, it's definitely worth $50 and this will be <laughs> stunning to wear. Like you could dress this up or down and that's kind of why I got it. I love wearing strapless things in the summer. So like I could just put like some flats on with this, um, and go like, you know, to lunch or something, or I could like wear heels and a nice bag with this and dress it up. Um, the back is just plain. It's just, um, like plain on the back. And I got a size four because I figured these would run... Target sizes in general usually run a little big and I'm usually between a four or a six so I figured I would rather like have this a little snug than it not fit um as well so um that's what it is and like it's a little tight around my boobs but like not really so I feel like this was a good size it probably would have draped more here um but I really like it so this is the first dress and then I'll show you the other cushiony dress that I'm not keeping. Okay, this is the dress I was going to take back but now I feel like I might keep it. Um, it's just a black little slip dress. Um, so it's kind of like a good staple to have. It's kind of like has mixed um, material right here and that's what makes it like interesting. Oh, it's too bright. Hold on. And then the back has like that little bow, like you can tie it. It's like a lot of ribbon back there that you can kind of like tie into a little bow. Um, and it has like the little split too, but I feel like, I don't know would this just be good to have, but I don't know. I mean, like I have just like a simple slip dress already and I don't wear it a ton, but it's like, good, you know, good to have on, on hand when I want that look. So I don't think I would, I don't think I'm going to wear this and I feel like my chest is going to kind of pop out of this part let me know what you think I think I'm gonna take it back this was $50 this is a size 4 um I also feel like it could fit better a little better here like it's not I don't know I don't know I don't love it like the other one I would put it on and I was like oh I'm obsessed and this one I'm kind of like oh it's okay and like I don't want anything in my closet that I just feel okay about so Okay, here is the first Love Shack Fancy dress. I love it. Um, so I think I'm going to keep this one and return the other one, but let me know what you think. Um, this one was $55. I got it in a size medium and, uh, you know, I love a white dress. You know, I love a white dress. <laughs> and this one is so cute. Um, I definitely could have got a small again. I feel like a lot of things at Target just run um, a little bigger. Um, so yeah, I feel like this isn't really stretching at all like this elastic um and I would have rather been a little more snug but I already I would rather it be a little more snug but it's definitely fine and um I tried it on I would probably wear this with a belt just because it's so simple um most Love Shack fancy dresses have a little more detail like this has stunning detail for the price you're paying um but their dresses do have a little more detail usually so um let me show you the belt that I plan on adding it's from H&M and it's kind of perfect okay so this is the belt this is probably how I would wear um this dress this is like a little I don't know the material <laughs> woven yeah I, yeah I guess woven belt I think the belt just makes it a little more special um so I definitely plan on wearing it oh, like that but this is just so pretty so comfy and very flattering but yeah you could definitely size down with this because it's a stretchy stretchy back and it's super super light weight so like you wouldn't get hot even though it has sleeves so we know I love a dress with sleeves okay let me try on the other one that I think I'm gonna return and let me know what you think okay this is the other one and again I just don't feel amazing 
when I put it on and I just don't have room in my closet and I don't want to keep things that don't make me feel amazing when I put on that I have to like work with or finesse or anything like that. This makes me feel like a kid. Like not like a little kid. Like I feel like this is like a little kid's dress. Um, yeah, I just I don't think it does anything for me. Let me know. I loved the print um, and I just wanted to like to kind of add a floral print more floral prints into my wardrobe but I just don't think this silhouette especially with this something about this I think um having this volume and having a large chest I don't feel like I feel like it's just making me look I don't know bigger than I am or just not flattering in general like yeah I think this is good if you have like a smaller chest or just a smaller frame in general it's just a lot of ruffles here a lot of ruffles there and it's not doing what I thought it would do. And I also feel like it's too big. This is a medium again. And it's just like a lot of room everywhere. And it's already voluminous. So this was $55. I got a medium. So this one will also be going back. I think. Let me know. I think. I'm, I'm positive. Right, queens. I think I'm going to end um, the vlog here. Because it's already two days. But I am, I, I am going to vlog this weekend. So... There'll be like, this vlog will go up Sunday, but then there'll probably be another vlog next week because we're going on a, a little road trip this weekend, just for a day, but it'll be fun. Um, we're going down to Virginia Beach to look at houses um, for a possible move. <laughs> I'll tell you more when I know more, uh, but Josh basically got a job offer down there um, with his company, so like a promotion um, to another role but it's there so we're just gonna like go for the weekend see how we like it um one of my good friends lives there um Josh some of Josh's family live there so we're just going down for the weekend to see if we like it and to look at a couple of houses so I figured I would take you guys with us so um that should be fun it's exciting it's stressful but um of course <laughs> If you made it to the end subscribe hit the bell do all the things i appreciate you guys hope you guys are staying safe sane uplifted um and i think that's everything thanks for stopping by see ya